a given spring with a given value of k and a given value for the mass that hangs on the spring has one and only one period. If I change the amplitude of the spring, that period is not going to change. If I change my definition of t equals zero, which would introduce a value for alpha, that period is not going to change. So omega and p are completely independent of a and alpha. What is the meaning of a and alpha? Well, a and alpha is what we call the initial conditions. The initial conditions. And I discussed one initial condition. If you define at t equals zero, that the object is at x plus a and you release it with zero speed, then out comes alpha. You could also have released it at t equals zero. You could release it at x equals zero. And you could release it with a certain speed v. You could give it a kick. Well, then out of this information would follow both alpha and a. So that's why we call them initial conditions. Now in our simple harmonic oscillation, which has the form x in its most general form times a cosine omega t plus alpha, notice that this oscillation will go on forever and ever and ever. It will, here is x equals zero, it will reach plus a, it will go back, it will reach minus a. And there never comes an end to this. This is, of course, not very realistic. In practice, there will be damping. That means there will be some form of air friction. And then the oscillation will gradually die out. But we have not taken that into account. We we'll oscillate maybe many times, and ultimately it will come to a halt. In the problems that I will be doing in this section, I will always ignore friction and air drag of any kind.